Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. A really fast intro for those of you who might be here on the channel for the first time. I'm Mackenzie Lemiri, and my husband George and I and our three kids moved here to Kenya and we very proudly live in Meru County in the village areas. And yeah, I've just been documenting our lives here in Kenya ever since we came from the United States. Um, I'm from Utah, so that's the state that we lived in and where I grew up. But yeah, I've just been documenting our life and our businesses that we've started over here. Um, a lot of farming content, village content. And if you find yourself liking this video and coming back to the channel regularly to watch some of the other videos that I upload, please just go ahead and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. So today is a very exciting day because I am cooking. First of all, I have to say that I'm actually pretty proud of how my cooking skills have progressed since moving here to Kenya. I just find myself having to get down and dirty in the kitchen a lot more often here and it's paying off because I just do feel a lot more comfortable whipping up meals from scratch, um, cooking things, that are easy to make with like the local foods because we're not always able to go to town. Town um, where the big supermarkets are, it's about 35 minutes, 40 minutes from here. So it's not the most convenient thing. So that means that I do a lot more cooking and I use a lot of things that can just be found like in the local markets, which one, is a lot healthier than eating a lot of um, some of the other stuff that's out there. And today I am going to be making a very popular Kenyan dish and one of my husband's favorites. I'm gonna be making Mokimo. And there are a lot of different versions of Mokimo, um, a lot of different ways to make it. Usually the main ingredients are either potatoes or green bananas or a mixture of both. And then you can add in different things like sweet corn, maize, beans, or different kinds of greens. And the version that I'm going to make right now is with potato and stinging nettle. So stinging nettle is, it's a green plant. And this is like the powdered version of that. And it's very, very good for you, even on this on this package, I'll just read what it says. Like there's a medicinal, it says medicinal value, um, can treat congestion, rheumatism, tuberculosis, bronchitis, lung congestion, coughs, joints, muscles, kidney stones, <laughs> uh, insect bites, arthritis, gout. So a lot of things. Um, so yeah, it's definitely medicinal and I'm sure that it can be taken different ways, like kind of like a tea probably. Um, but we're going to mix this into some mashed potato and then along with that to go on top of it, usually you eat it with like a soup on top, like a beef stew. And I'm going to do a beef stew, but it's also going to have sauteed mushrooms in it. I am a huge fan of mushrooms. I love mushrooms so much, but we were able to find mushrooms at the supermarket in town and I was really excited. I usually get very excited when we have mushrooms so I can put them with like a breakfast omelet or egg scramble. Um, but I decided that I'm gonna make like a beef mushroom stew to put with the Mokimo. So I'm going to make a very classic Kenyan dish and then alongside it a not so classic stew to go with it so we'll see how it turns out okay so before i get started peeling a million potatoes um i have to for my own sanity i have to do the dishes first i really really don't like cooking when i know i already have like dishes piled in the sink that need to be done because that just means a much bigger mess to clean up after I'm done cooking. Okay, the dishes are done. Now, I've got to get my setup 
all ready to go for the peeling. I'm grabbing a karai from outside because like I said, there's a lot of potatoes. So I think the best way would be for me to put this karai on the floor. I'm gonna sit on the couch so that I'm comfortable. And also, since uh, peeling is gonna be kind of time consuming, I'm assuming it'll take me at least 30 minutes. I'm not the fastest at peeling, but I'm okay. I'm not too slow, but I'm definitely not the fastest. But I'm guessing I'll be peeling for a good 30 minutes or so. So I'm gonna put on something to watch or listen to while I peel so that I'm entertained. <laughs> And it just makes it go by much faster when I can just like be listening to something. The kids are gonna go head outside and go play. Um, I'll send you guys out with, do you want popcorn? Do you want popcorn? Okay. Send them out with a snack. Here you go. Oh, and also, can I bring out Bexy? Uh, yeah, but you cannot use it for Look, it's raining. Like, the clouds are not even above above us yet. It's still sunny, but it's sprinkling. If it starts downpouring, you guys can run into your clubhouse until it passes. Yeah. They usually take shelter right there. The kids usually head outside almost every evening around 5 because that's when the sun starts setting and it's not too hot. So, got this big bag of potatoes. I'm not sure how many I will do. I will just peel until the ancestors tell me to stop. So I've got my whole setup here. This is where I'm gonna put the potatoes once they're peeled. Got my knife, the karai. That's where all the peels will go. And yeah. I think this is a good amount of potatoes for us. I'm gonna wash them and then I'll get them boiling on the stove. are right outside this window by the rabbits so you'll probably hear them screaming and playing um so i have this pot filling up with water so that i can let the potatoes boil and you know earlier today i was googling um trying to just see if i could get an idea of how much of the stinging nettle to add because like I said, I've never made this before and I've never really seen anyone make it um, with the powdered version of the stinging nettle. So I wasn't really sure how much I should add and I'm still not sure. But again, I'm gonna let the ancestors whisper to me. I think that's just how uh, these Kenyan dishes go. There's not like really precise measurements or anything. It's just, you just do it with your heart. Turn on the gas. We usually um, boil things, especially using the gas because with the electricity, it just takes much too long. So yeah, the gas cooking is much more efficient. So, all right, so get these boiling and then 
I think I'll let the water reduce and you know make sure the potatoes are soft I'll let the water reduce boil down and then I'll probably just like one spoonful at a time add some of this I'm assuming it's gonna be like two or three spoonfuls is all so once the potatoes are done i'm gonna stir in mix in the stinging nettle and i also want to fry some onions and mix that in as well so i think i'm gonna do that right now while the potatoes are boiling my eyes oh my gosh Woo. i'm never able to get away from the onion burn in my eyes my eyes are so sensitive i'm just gonna close my eyes and hope for the best honestly <laughs> like what onions to like blacken too much I want them to just cook nicely but still have like the sweetness that an onion has let me check where the potatoes are at oh they're soft actually wasn't expecting that yeah the forks going right through them Yep. Okay, they're ready. So I'll give them like, like three more minutes and then I'll just remove, reduce the water. Like I'll pour some of the water out. And things just got a lot more exciting because the power just went out. So we've got Hakuna Stima, no Stima. Well, this is why we cook over gas. Let's see if it comes back on because it has been doing this quite often where it'll go off. It's like they're turning it off and doing like maintenance or fixing something. I don't know, but it'll go off for like five or ten minutes and then come back on. So let's hope. Okay, I am going to... I'm gonna pour the excess water out of the pot and then I guess it'll be time to add the stinging nettle which I got like just a few spoonfuls in there so we'll start with this and see if that's enough I have a feeling it's like pretty potent and concentrated as a powder so I don't want to overdo it so I'm just going to start with this little bit Okay, time for the fun part. And I just realized that I forgot to put salt like while they were boiling. So hopefully it doesn't make too much of a difference, but darn it. I meant to do that because I know you're supposed to add salt like in the boiling water, but I want to add the stinging nettle now and the onions. No, I think I'll do stinging nettle, mash some more, mix some more, and then I'll add the onions. Okay. Let's see. So, 
It's like a green powder. Okay, so the power being off, it's kind of hard to see, but that's what it's looking like right now. So I'm gonna mix in, woo! I'm gonna mash in this amount and then see where we're at. Okay, let me just see what it's tasting like at this moment. Okay, I can add more stinging nettle and I'll put in the onions right now too because it doesn't need too much more, but. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go grab a second lantern. One second. Let's see if we can improve our lighting situation in here. That's a bit better, right? Not perfect, but that's okay. Mm, the onions smell really good. Like, they're gonna add to it a lot. Okay, so the Moki Mo is done. I have it in the pot with the lid. I just heard George pull in, so he should be inside soon, so. I don't know if I'll let him have like a little taste test um, or just have him wait until everything's done, but um, I just chopped another onion. <laughs> so my eyes are crying um, because I realized I needed onion for the beef. So um, I'm going to get the beef going, get it cooking, then I'll add the mushrooms and all the good stuff. That was a fun little time cooking in the dark. Okay, so George is gonna take a little sampling. So you made this? I made that, babe. <laughs> well, let's see if your wife in my TV. <laughs> An African wife in my TV. Well, let's hope. Cause I don't know where I'm gonna go if I'm not. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Mm. I am wifey material. <laughs> Hopefully, since we've been married for 11 years. So I have the beef cooking. I'm going to add the mushrooms in just a minute. But you guys have to look at these avocados that George brought home. <laughs> he brought them home yesterday. We have one sliced right there. We're going to have these with the Moki Mo because... Why wouldn't we? But no, hold it up to your head for measurement purposes. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? It's almost the size of his head. And there was four of them, and they're they're such good avocados. They're like the buttery ones. Avocados. I know George loves the buttery ones. So do I. So we're definitely gonna have to plant these seedlings. They're just huge. Okay guys, here is the exciting addition of mushrooms. Do you guys like mushrooms? I love them so much. So I think I'm going to save half of these for breakfast tomorrow and put them in like an egg scramble because I know not everyone loves mushrooms quite as much as me. Oh, the Mokimo 
is here. We've already been digging at it a bit. And then the beef mushroom stew. And it is so tasty, not even joking. The mushrooms just like soak in so much flavor or something. I don't know, but they're delicious. So let's, I'll plate up George's first. So he can be the, since he's the real critic, I'm gonna pile this onto you, right? How's that looking, babe? Yeah, that's a nice, no. That's what good. do I look like, a pig? <laughs> I was getting a little excited. Give me the bone. Okay, I need this first. Please. The bone. Mm -hmm. Jim. George is never very enthusiastic, mm. but I can tell he likes it. <laughs> you're supposed yeah, to be yeah. you're supposed to be jumping up and down saying oh my god babe this is so good oh my god this <laughs> is so cute <laughs> hello <laughs> the that's what i want you to do because you know i started peeling potatoes at 4 p.m and what time is it now 8 30 that's all i think my theory. i appreciate you People should be jumping up and down. Oh yeah, put avocado. Okay, kids, you want? You ready to eat? Yeah. Lucas likes it. He said he likes mushrooms when they're cooked into things, but not on pizza. So, let's see what London thinks. You can be honest. Whatever your honest thoughts are, I won't be offended. You have to get some mushrooms. This mushroom looks good. Ma'am, have you tried it yet? Yeah. Mm. Mm. So good. What do we think? Mm. Good. Do you like them? Mm -hmm. Do you like mushrooms? Mm -hmm. Thanks for coming along with me on my cooking journey. Because it truly was a journey. I don't know why that took so much time. But I think like the power outage, the potato peeling... And a few other random things that happened in between really prolonged the time. But it was really fun and I'll definitely make Mokimo again. I don't know when. Maybe next time I'll put the sweet corn into it because I really like Mokimo with sweet corn. But yeah, I'm gonna enjoy now. Thank you for watching. Let me know how you like your Mokimo in the comments and we'll see you next time.